idea with autumn and all the colours about to take a ride into Christchurch. So um, here we are heading down the motorway past Fanfare, the sculpture that was awarded to the city, onto the motorway into Christchurch and eventually we arrive in Christchurch in uh, Cranford Street in an area where I grew up. In fact we we're about to turn into Innes Road which is where in fact I did grow up and on the left just up here is uh, a couple or there are a couple of parks which feature largely in my history including the scout den on the left where I used to go to the Cubs and then down past uh, the park which used to have a fence all the way around it that's the home of the Canterbury rugby team the Crusaders into Rutland Street and um, we're pulling up to have a coffee at a restaurant which uh, is actually adequately housed now in our old corner dairy that was it over there well that was a quick cup of coffee as you can tell and uh, I had had my flu injection out in Rangiora before this but we're heading into Christchurch to Katrina's GP so that she can have her flu shot and it's just in here and that's over and done with so we're off to town now down Springfield Road which is one of the main routes into the city and as I say this was filmed mostly so that people could get a bit of an idea of the autumn colours around the city which are probably fairly attractive at the moment it being the 5th of May and uh, May is the month when all the leaves generally fall off or lose their their interest on the left is the Southern Cross Hospital where I had my operations in fact that's the operating theatre directly on the left there I know the inside all too well the Bailey Avenue is one of the four avenues that bound Christchurch we're just turning off it actually into the one-way system but the inner city itself inside the avenues is the same size as the city of London as it happens down we've got there um, two sides of the road very historic cemetery but on the left that area in there that used to be suburbia and have hotels and things in it as well is now red zoned and everybody's been moved out it's now just um, grassland and they're still deciding what to do with it so we'll proceed on down to the bottom end of the one-way system on the left is where the old Catholic Basilica used to be it was a beautiful building and we swing right into Morehouse Avenue which is uh, the southernmost of the avenues that uh, surround Christchurch and we're going along here um, with the idea that at the end we'll turn up Harper Avenue and head around to Briscoe's so we've got Harper Avenue not Harper Avenue not sure what the name of that road is but we've got the park on the right the um, South Hagley Park and um, mostly oaks which are pretty slow to lose their leaves and not very attractive but around the other end of the park we are also proceeding down here past the mosque there it is on the left that's where the unfortunate massacre occurred in Christchurch Further around uh, we get to the other end of the park as well. On the left is Christchurch Girls High School which is now in a very lovely setting just by the river. The road bends around here, the river's just on the left and we once again go through North Hagley Park this time. The cherry blossom trees on the right were looking pretty spectacular with their autumn colours but they're even more spectacular in springtime when they're covered with cherry blossom it's a beautiful sight down here in spring and well worth capturing lots of lots of trees mostly oaks and all planted back in the early days of Christchurch at the end of this road were we to head right at the lights we would go round towards the centre of Christchurch the botanical gardens the museum the arts centre and so forth um, Christ College the probably premier boys private school in Christchurch as well all over to the right and through the park 
lots of venues are held there and lots of concerts and um, firework displays you name it. it it's a real public asset and one that's used a great deal we're just coming up to the Avon River we'll go across that and into Bealey Avenue again we were in Bealey Avenue earlier on this time though we're going to swing round um, past that lovely Italian restaurant that you can see the flag flying for and the new pub which has been built to replace the earthquake damaged uh, Carlton Hotel that used to be there round into Papua Nui Road which has rapidly turned into motel land for uh, visitors to the central city no doubt not doing so well at the moment that building on the left is the Chinese Methodist Church which is a very different building to the old Methodist Church very English style church with a spire that I remember going to as a child and then on our left again we've got St George's and consulting rooms and uh, so on but we're about to swing into my surgeon's rooms to have my plaster removed and uh, that actually turned out to be a disappointment whereas I thought I was going to be walking out without crutches I find my leg doesn't like having been cooped up for so long and the pain from the Achilles tendon is far from funny. We couldn't turn right so we're going to cheat a little bit and go down a side street, do a U-turn, turn around, come back again, uh, which we've done, and facing St Andrews, the private Presbyterian school for boys and more recently for girls as well. And over the fence is my intermediate school that I went to for two years, which um, I enjoyed actually. So we're heading again down Papanui Road, about to turn into Heaton Street and about to turn left into St George's. Again, it turned out to be a rather abortive trip because we were at the wrong door and yours truly can't walk very far at the moment, but it does give you a little bit of a look at um, a very rapidly expanding private hospital setup which uh, is fairly typical of New Zealand these days although even the public hospitals have had a major revamp and are reportedly very nice seems that both systems have their problems though when you're a patient so we'll do a quick UE and head back out again and this time hopefully deposit me at the right door but you can see that uh, it's quite a pleasant environment and of course the temperature helped it was in the 20s again lovely lovely day to be out and about however one that um, was over eventually and I was quite pleased it was over too so where are we off to now down Heaton Street again Actually over on the right is the main entrance to my uh, intermediate school and then further up again on the right just coming up is the exit of uh, the intermediate school and back in there is my intermediate school uh, Heaton Intermediate which is a lovely place and then on the right behind all these big trees we've got um, Elmwood Park which is really lovely another big area which is very popular with a stream running through it and this this whole area out here is is pretty uh, pricey it's the upper end of Christchurch although a lot of the big old houses that were there have been demolished and the case in point being behind this red this black hedge up here where there was a big house on a big section now being turned into um, a much higher intensity uh, set of apartments in there on the left and round on the right just past the red tree is where I used to put my canoe in the water when I was a kid and paddle happily down the Wairarapa Terrace beautiful area and out into the Avon and you could of course end up going right through the centre of Christchurch and out to sea if you wanted to go that far I used to stop in the middle of town and uh, head back basically 
So we are still looking for St George's. We've just turned into another side street in the area where Elmwood School is uh, very evident on the left. A very big primary school, very well known one and, and got a very good reputation. And uh, up at the end of this road, it's pretty narrow, will make Londoners feel at home actually. You have to negotiate with other traffic as to who's got the right of way. We don't have many streets like this, but there's the odd one or two. And uh, as I was about to say, at the end of it is the Merivale Mall, which is where we decided we'd grab some sushi, starve off, or stave off, I should say, the hunger pains, pangs that were starting to make themselves evident. So we'll have a dive in quickly into the car park and then off out again this time back to St George's for the x-ray hopefully. I suppose that one minor advantage of being on crutches is that we can always use the disabled or disability I should say car parks. Sushi on board, back to St George's and there he is waiting so that was a quick one. Out again from St George's Hospital, lovely autumn colours to look at, back out onto Heaton Street which um, runs off in this road and I part of the area I know very well. This is the top end of Innes Road and you can tell by the traffic just how bad it has become lately. I'm glad we moved out when we did. It's, um, it wasn't like that as kids, I can tell you. Of course, where we grew up is just a little bit further up here on the right. I'll try and point it out as we go past no doubt I've cut a little bit out uh, to get there in a hurry, but it's in this next block. Yeah, there it is with the elm tree on the right and the hedge in front. So, and it's not long before we're on the motorway now. It's a new addition. Five minutes from there to the tram road. And which seems to be a jolly good place to leave it for the time being, as the colours uh, are not so exciting further out. 